Hello. I have somebody for you. Kitty. <laughs> Sir. Say hi to people. There you go. He is so mad. The fact that he hasn't jumped out of my hands yet is like incredible. He is, he doesn't usually let me do this for a while. Oh my God, look, look at you looking at the camera. You look so bored. Let me smooch you in the forehead. Oh my God, okay, fine. I'm letting you go now. Oh, Carrie's here. That's cool, I guess. Uh, okay, so today is a brand new version of Salty Runback. To anyone who is a new viewer of sorts, Salty Runback is a type of stream where I play a Celeste map that I previously did not like or rage quit, and I replay it to see if my opinions on that map still hold later. Today, we are playing the Expert Heart Side from Spring Collab 2020. When I played Expert Heart Side, it was definitely at the peak of my skill level. It was really at that ceiling for what I was capable of doing. I actually got to flag one. In fact, I was maybe like two inputs away from beating the map entirely. But <laughs> flag one was so annoying to me because I kept dying in the same spot over and over to something that I thought was bullshit that I rage quit, collected the heart, and never played Grandmaster. And I really think about what it would have been like and where I would be as a Celeste player and like my opinions on maps if I had actually entered Grandmaster because I never touched Spring Collab ever again, ever. It's always a big what if for me. What if I had beaten Expert Heart side? Would I have continued on into Grandmaster? Would I have completed Strawberry, uh, not Strawberry Jam, oh my God. Would I have completed Spring Collab in its entirety if I kept going? I don't know, but it's been four years and we're gonna play it. <laughs> and I'm gonna see what my opinions are and we're gonna see how I feel about it now. Should be interesting. <laughs> I will say there is one big potential flaw in this salty run back. I'm not playing all of the maps before it. <laughs> so a lot of the mechanics, I'm not gonna remember. Oops, but I, I, I believe, I believe in Carrie Carrarium. All right, uh, button. Nope, button. An update is available for one mod. Do y'all wanna guess what mod it is? It's the audio pack. I tried to update this for 35 minutes and it just keeps giving me this update. I think that's beautiful. Ooh, that lighting. Yeah, here's the thing about Spring Collab from a long time ago. It was huge. This was massive. This was a huge thing for the Celeste community to get Celeste modding like really out there. I think it's safe to say now and I haven't played it, but I, I am like pretty sure that this is so outdated now. And that's my big fear is that a lot of the stuff I'm gonna play is just very outdated. How can a map be outdated? It's just kind of with how Celeste modding meta works now. I think that it just will feel outdated. It'll feel four years old. I'm actually fascinated at the idea of playing this map because of the fact that I'm not playing the maps before it. So I'm going into a lot of these uh, maps again almost completely blind because I don't remember half of them. I know that flag one was Ultra Sandwich and uh, Double E, Electric Exuberance. I know that. Olden Tower Ruins is in there. High Voltage. Oh, fuck. I remember more expert maps than I thought. <laughs> the execution wasn't always the best, but the concept is just so good. The things that I think I remember specifically for problems, there is one flag. It was the Ligament and Trenches flag. I didn't like the design of it. Ligament and Trenches flag had an ending that I really didn't enjoy. And then flag one, in my fairness, involved Chained Ultras, which was one of my first times experiencing trying to do Chained Ultras. Um, and I also just didn't like what Electric Experience was asking of me. And I thought that it was being a little too precise and a little too particular about timing. Uh, but I could also chalk it up to skill issue. All right, I'm going in. 
Why is it raining crude oil into lava? Your guess is as good as mine. The first thing about uh, Spring Collab that I remember is that you can die in these areas. There are hazards all over the place. Honestly, I love it. I, I don't mind the concept, but I think that there's definitely too much of it. It leans into the exploration side of it, which some people in lobbies, but some really don't. Okay, I am curious, at least a little bit, what was in the expert gym? Ultras. Yippee! I am, like, pretty sure that, like, destroyed me four years ago. I am, I am like, very certain that this took me a very long time. Also, a thing that I appreciate now about... Spring collab. Compared to SJ. Was they're like... Okay, ultras. Yay, that's all you need to know. Whereas like in Strawberry Jam, like every area had a lot more stuff. Good, hold on, savable, winnable. She's just sick with it. Dream hyper. And I still do it the bad way. I am a dream hyper boomer. Look at my input display. I'm doing cannon dream hypers, true? Five jumps, only five? <laughs> oh, you want me to do, oh. Oh, because I still have a dash, I forgot. This fucking spot. I struggled so hard on this. I think what made me confused, and this is on me, is that Madeline is cl- Nice corner glide. You have to look at the Madeline sprite and see that she's doing an extended hyper and then bunny hopping. I can't remember if that's what actually messed me up at the time, but I remember struggling really hard on that. Damn. Never mind. We can't play. Stream over. Everybody go home. Expert heart side by the expert mappers. Ignore the three deaths. Ignore the three deaths. I was just making sure that the music pack worked in here. Ignore the three deaths. Whoa, you beat the map in three. Yeah, I'm kind of goaded with it. You must be very good at this map. We'll find out. All right, let's find out. This is the final challenge. Remember to take breaks if you get frustrated. This is significantly harder than anything else in the dip in this difficulty. You can do this. Except that whole other lobby. True. Okay. Impossible first. Impossible first. Um... Nope. Okay, it's possible. Eight. Okay. God, I love martial music. All right, what am I doing? All right, so we gotta go off of that cloud. It's like a super, probably a wave dash off of that one. I'm gonna say it's a hyper bunny hop, but I could be very wrong on that. You collect that dash crystal up left through that dream block to then, and grab, then right dash and grab. And I presume do something down here, down right through the dream block. Then we do a dream hyper off of that cloud, reverse off of that wave dash under that and now we're in high voltage yay so we grab that block and then we need to grab that block we need to move it but fall to get to that spring then we're gonna wall bounce off of that to grab that jump off hit that spring grab that hit that spring when we go back up so that we can then dash into the double dash crystal when we hit that spring right dash up dash grab jump over hit the spring grab that up and over, spring, spring, block. Okay, 
Let's see what happens. Nope. Okay, cool. Okay, definitely not that. And I'm trying to make sure that's not a, uh, a dream hyper. So a super doesn't work there. It's not a reverse. Oh, I wonder if you just land on it and then just do an instant hyper. That might make sense as to why that block, why that cloud exists. <sighs> okay. Uh, it is a dream hyper, but I gotta be careful about how I hold jump. This, this controller might not be the right one for the job. Let me see. Let me double check. Yeah, I think this I think this one's better. Oh god. Oh god, help. Reading is happening. Reading is we're reading. Carry checking. Oh god. Oh God. Ah! 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 Ah. Yippee! <laughs> One flag down. You're so literate. Oh, f this, Sarah. Oh my God. Okay, this flag was the start of my problems. This one was so weird. Okay, so we need to do a reverse off of those blocks. What happens when I go through these? I get dashes, okay. Reverse, down right, right dash, wall bounce, wall bounce, grab that jelly, throw it before I do this down left, then down dash and wave dash, wall bounce, reverse, wave dash, grab the jelly, throw the jelly, Wall bounce over. F it's New Jank City. Oh my God, New not New Jank City. No shit. Damn it. All right, let's get through this first part first. Are they just extreme moon blocks now that you think about it? I don't remember. I remember them not feeling good. That's why it's New Jank City. Funk. Oh, okay, so that's a reverse super. I didn't need to grab it there. Okay, I didn't need to grab it. I could always do a neutral. Uh, I could always do a neutral drop there. I could always do a jelly vader. I, you know that thing about throwing the jelly there. Grab the jelly, throw the jelly. I didn't listen to myself. Well. Okay, so the, the jellyfish isn't needed after that because there's that barrier. So I wonder if I overthought the jellyfish. There we go. Oh my God. She is new jank gaming. How? Okay, so I need to... I'm doing something different on that jump, and I think it might be that I'm doing it too early? Time will tell. History will remember this. Not quite. It's cool to know that that's saveable, though. I don't know if Expert Heart Side in Strawberry Jam would have that same save ability. There's no real wrong way there. If you want it to be that Kaizo feeling where like you have to get all the right inputs. 
that's like fine. But I think also sometimes just having something that you can save is 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 cool. Okay, I'm getting something wrong about this 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 right to left section here. Something about that is just not working out. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, we got it. Never mind. <laughs> I figured it out. I had to do the inputs way quicker than I thought that I did. Side note real quick. I don't remember what the name of that map from Flag 7 is, but that mechanic of you go through this section and it gives you two dashes and then the next section it gives you one dash. I actually really like that mechanic. I would like actually like to see that gameplay like in another map. I think now in 2024, I would really like something like that. I think it's a genuinely really cool idea. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Here it is. Michael Sadness. Cycle Madness is kind of peak. I don't remember. I remember having a rough time with Cycle Madness, but I am a huge Cycle Madness B-side aficionado and defender. So I'm almost certain that if I played Cycle Madness again, I would love it. Do I need to worry about these blocks up here at all? Surely not, because like that's not, the camera's telling me no. So it's probably wall bounce and then you grab that and then you're gonna fall down here. Avoid these, avoid these, avoid these, avoid these. You can take either way. You get onto this platform and then that part, this part is easy. Yeah, this part's, yeah, this part's easy. Okay. Okay. I could have waited. Oh, I'm going too fast. Gotta be careful not to buffer certain uh, inputs. There we go. Oh, I could have. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I didn't read that. Ah, come on. No, that's not a fluke. I am just the goat at cycles. Cycle gameplay is legitimately free. Hit him with a lock picking lawyer. Do it one more time to show it's not a fluke. I kind of want to, but uh, I don't want to prove chat right. <laughs> All right, what is this one? This is uh, the index map. So we grab the jelly, we up left into the jelly, then we up right and right dash into the jelly. No, we're not doing a right dash into the jelly because then I wouldn't have a dash to land on that. So I throw the jelly into the spring. I reverse wave dash and then I wave dash and then I wall bounce. Presumably I'm catching the jellyfish as it collects that coin and then throwing it to the right and then hoping I get far enough. And then we enter Thunder Temple. Bumper, 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 upright, down left, dream hyper, wall bounce, wave dash. Bumper, 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 wave dash, win. Good. Missed the wall bounce. Sad. Oh, I, w I delayed that by a lot. I gotta delay that a lot more. 
Dare I say so far, this is kind of fun. Dare I say, I'm having a good time at the moment. Oh, I meant to... That was almost another fluke. I don't know why I thought this was in, uh, an advanced map. I think this one was called Watertown? Uh, what is that input? That's either a really weird upright or I need to like dash up into the right side of that bumper. My bad. I will say this about Thunder Temple. I love Thunder Temple. That was one of my favorites from Expert. Uh, it does have a visibility problem with the lightning and it being a very yellow map. Wahoo. All right, what am I doing here? Noom, big Noom. Grabbing that, dashing down into that spring, wave dashing off of that. I need to get there. I need to grab that. Need to go up here to wave dash. To wave dash? To down dash? Well, I'll need to hit the spring anyway. Puffer fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't like this map. It's the visibility issue map. Oh, no. Oh, good. Yep. All right. Here. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. This will be fine. This will be fine. It's fine. Ah. Uh, what? Oh, you have to grab it first and then you have to dash into it. Okay. That's gotta be a super then. No, I think I gotta... I think I just gotta time it better. Oh, okay, so that's not, okay, got it. Okay, so I almost got done with switchback. Huh? What's the, what's the connection here? What? What? I gotta just get there and then figure it out. Yeah? I... I guess? Yep. <laughs> sure. Uh... I think I get it. Oh, the fish goes there and then you down dash into it. Oh, I'm silly. That's why it feels so slow. Huh? I, I thought it was the same fish. How goes Expert Hard Side so far? This is the first questionable map so far, but it's overall pretty good. I am definitely reading this like way better. Um, okay, hold on a second. So you get to that puff, and then you, I think you just can just dash onto it to drop it down. Because I think if I try to do a super, I'm going to get more distance than I need to there. So I think I just want to reset my dash. Grab block, jump up, dash right, fish make boom. I'm assuming the other fish goes there. Another boom, wall bounce in there. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost, we're almost done. I 100% need to have a dash there. Ow. I, 
I keep thinking I need to dash there, and I'm trying to convince my brain that I don't. If there's one thing that I would say about Expert Hard Side so far with some things, it's that a lot of the setups don't look like very obvious setups. Like, if you play a map now in 2024, you will see things set up in a certain way that very much tell you what the inputs that you have to do are. And some of the flags that I've seen so far, it doesn't have that same vibe. Like, for an example, on flag 8, like the very first flag, when I saw the, the, the clouds, when I see the way that they were set up, it looked to me like a super into a mid-air demo hyper. I think most people did a demo hyper there back in the day too, probably. But like the setup, at least the way that I did, it was this into a, a, an instant hyper. When I see this fish, the solution is to dash on top of the fish and then jump up here. 2024, I see a fish and my immediate thought is I need to do a mid-air super off of that fish. And it's not like bad mapping. I think it's just interesting how setups have shifted. Eras of mapping, yeah. 2020 mapping, not a quadruple, let's go. Three. Okay, so this flag right here, flag three. I hated this flag. I genuinely fucking despised this flag. This, this flag made me so pissed off. All right. What is the plan? Oh, there's a spring up there. Hey, ligament? What am I doing here? Huh. And then trenches of jellies. I genuinely don't even remember that map. Isn't that the one with the like crazy amount of bl uh, bloom? Yeah. Yeah, I never finished that one. I briefly forgot about the whole three maps or room thing. I'm glad they changed that. Playing this now, I don't mind it, actually. I do like the strawberry jam method of every, like, every one getting its own flag. But I think looking at this now, I don't think this is actually terrible. It makes the whole experience feel cohesive. You preferred this. It's just not free. Yeah, that's fine doesn't have to be for everybody. I think when the ideas connect, they're really good. I think when they don't connect, they're really bad. I respect both, but I prefer the Strawberry Jam way because I love going through each of the maps again as their own separate flags. I don't know. I just think it's nice. I just think they're neat. The separation I feel gave me a best version of room from a map, whereas this felt more like a taste tester. Or I'm crazy. Okay, so I forgot that was a thing. Winnable. <laughs> Ligament's a very memorable map for me. I struggled with it so much. It was one where by the end of it, I was like, get me out. Yay. Um, now I need to know if I need to get like a boost off of that block. Wait, wait. Excellent. I swear, that is 100%. There's no way that's intended. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, but I need... I need a dash. Didn't I just get a dash? Was I clueless? Was I just not paying attention to my surroundings? Correct. I was not. <laughs> I just wasn't. Damn. Let's try this again. What? Come on. All right, I'm gonna try to hold upright during that. No, 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 no. Oh, 
We need to do a slightly later grab. There we go. L. Move to the right first before you throw it. Okay. Okay. Did you see how all of those spiked blocks blocked off the left side after you grab the jelly? When I first played this heart side, I struggled for so long with this room, trying to read it, trying to read the ligament section and then having to deal with this trenches of jelly section. And I got owned by the blocks moving to make that wall on the left. And I was so unbelievably pissed off by that. Looking at it now, I don't think it was as much of a troll as I thought, but I was so annoyed that that could have killed me. I won, and I still got killed by something. And that felt so unfair. And I know why those blocks have spikes on them, because if they didn't, you could just, like, walk on them. But I was still like, F you, man, that sucks. Alright, hold on. Now that we've actually beaten that for real, I want to do something. Man. Okay, they do at least recognize it. They do at least recognize that you can do that. You can do that if you bring up a... Oh. That's funny. They added that later on. Fair. All right. Oh, lol. All right. Olden Tower Ruins. The initial salty run back. Is this one of those binos where you just kind of have to play and get the feel for it? Yeah. A little bit. Reverse Dream Hyper. I remember playing this and being so pissed off at being asked to do Reverse Dream Hypers because as far as I remember, they did not teach you how to do that. Okay, so I can just grab the block from that point. Uh, what? Huh? Come on. What are you doing, Madeline? F F I haven't seen this in a long time. Hi, Blair. Yeah, I'm playing it again because I never actually beat this. I rage quit on flag one. Oh, fair. Oh, fair. I like it a lot more now. I still kind of don't like Flag 3. Still not really a fan of that one, but pretty much everything else has been good. You're a bit biased. That's fa That's fine. Biases are fine. It's like me saying that the D-sides are my favorite map. Like, they are, but I've also played those more than any other map ever. I should probably check the rest of this. Nope. No, I will not. <laughs> nope. No, I will not. <laughs> I will not. I do not need the bino. We're fine. I think this is pretty much as far as I got. Like, I beat Expert, but I barely did any GM. Yeah, I was saying earlier in the stream that this is a really interesting what if for my life. If I had beat this, how far into GM would I have gone? If I had gone into GM and enjoyed it, like, would I be playing more tough maps in my career? And it's like, just a general interesting thought experiment. I don't think you would have gone hugely far as SCGM kind of is just long rooms and more annoying. Probably. In 2020, probably. That was when I had the opinion that this isn't Celeste, this is just Kaizo, and didn't think that you can combine the two. I was not used to maps having rooms that just go on and on and on and on and on. 
Ultra, 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 ultra. Hit Kevin, ultra. <laughs> hey, guess what? Ultra, ultra. this. This fucker right here. Specifically, this fucker right here. This was the thing. I quit here. That's the end. I quit here, knowing that that's the end. I think something about the fish boost just wasn't working for me. It was probably a skill issue, but there were so many things about this flag that I did not like. Now it's up to Carrie to right the wrongs of the past. At the time, it was a bufferable one frame. Really? Now it's a six plus buffer? Yeah, that would explain why it kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah, this is going to go a lot easier in... 2024 than 2020 because now we're on 1.4 down patch to beat it oh god you know you could just that you could just dash over you have the dash you could have just done that Uh, I need to read that. Reverse, down dash. I think that was a super? This part was also a bit confusing. But I'm pretty sure it's a puffer fish boost, wave dash off of that, wall bounce off of that, and then you, like, win when you leave the lavas on your face. Like that. Oh, nice. What? You know what's funny is I think you could probably cheese this. I'm not going to, but you probably could. Oh, wait a second. Have I ever really seen that before? Have I ever really seen it from that direction? From that, like, from that perspective? I could probably just dash earlier. Yeah, I'm making an assumption that, like, the next thing after blue is, like, a yellow or green, and it's not, it's pink. So I need to dash towards that, like, green hint. Whee! No! Sad. Yep. I genuinely, Serena Link, I genuinely don't know if I had speedrun tool when I played Spring Collab. I think I simply suffered. You can just land on the block. What am I doing? You can just land on... The block is there. The block will not hurt you. That block is a friend. <sighs> Freedom was one input away, y'all. Was that a redirect? Genuinely? I don't know. No! Woo! Yay. Yippee! Even get to the heart and can't do shit in Detroit. Here we go. Easy every time. Every single time. No way she won. Easy W. Thank God you didn't rage quit in the heart room. One hour, 44 minutes, and two seconds. It's just that shrimple. 2024 carry is simply built different. Thank you for the GGs.
That is much more fun than the last time. You always have to remember that if you're doing well, of course it's going to be more fun. So there's a couple of things at play with this, looking back on it. I'm a much better sight reader than I was in 2020, and that has a lot to do with it. I think it's really interesting to look at this heart side now that the like Celeste modding meta has changed in terms of like expected setups for certain moves and that there's just there's a couple of like it's a little awkward but it's like it's kind of cute it's kind of homey it's like it's kind of nice actually it feels a little bit more like Celeste obviously the skill set is much bigger four years later I think that flag one is fair I don't know if I would have put Ultra Sandwich on Flag 1, but I get why it is there. I don't know if you could have put something else there. I think it makes the most stylistic sense, but having Ultra Sandwich and EE on the last flag is kind of a shit kicker. I do wonder, looking back now, why I struggled so much on Flag 1. I really wish I knew. I must have been just slower with my inputs because I had occasions where I died to that yellow block. So maybe just my hand-eye coordination and my, like, actions per minute were not completely there. I think... I, I really... I really liked this. I think there's, like, actually a lot to like in this map. I think 2020 carry just didn't catch important details in this section. Do I like this as the final flag? No, I don't know if I do, but... Could anything else be flag one? I also don't think it could. I don't think you could have anything else be that climactic end. And if you really want your player to be like, you have conquered Expert Heart Side, then you make them do Chained Ultras. I think if there was anything about this flag, I just kind of wish there was more in EE. I feel like a lot of the stuff that EE is actually asking out of you is like fairly low key. I think there could have been more here. More yellows and greens and stuff. Canadian told me at some point that he just straight up ran out of ideas for the EE section. Respectfully? Respectfully. I can see that. I can see that. It just seems sparse. Understandable considering he made like the majority of Expert Hearts. I totally. 100%. If you made like most of those eight flags, I could totally see running out of mapping juice, even if it's your own creation. Wow, two hearts! I could almost play Expert Hearts side. Yippee!